go. Hi, this is Arturo Riera with Toca Latin Percussion, and I'm here at the tribute to Armando Peraza with someone that's very important to Toca, Mr. Pete Escovedo. Pete, how are you doing? I'm fine. What a great festival. It's so nice to be here and just enjoy the music and seeing all the musicians. It's, I go home week, you know what I mean? It's it great. is all home week. And many, many endorsers here. We've been posting throughout the weekend yes. about LP and Toca activities here. But I want to ask you just a few questions about sure. Armando. When did you first meet Armando Peraza? Well, when he first came to San Francisco, it was back in the 50s, I believe. And uh, uh, I saw him, of course, with uh, Joy Sharing. I saw him with Cal Jader and uh, instantly became friends with him. He was always open to everybody. And if he knew that you played percussion, right away he took a liking to you. And because me and my brothers were, we were just kids. We were eager kids who wanted to learn how to play. But when you want to learn from the people that really know what they're doing, and Armando was that kind of a person. And he always wanted to share whatever he knew with you. Mm -hmm. He was not one of those guys that would hold back. He would say, well, here's the way I do it, and this is what you do, and blah, blah, blah. We became instant friends, and it was a joy to work with him, uh, with, with uh, Carlos Santana. For four years, we were on the road together. Mm -hmm. Many, many happy times, a lot of fun times. It was great. Yeah. You know, I know personally, I've heard many people learn personal lessons from Armando, not just musical lessons. What's your biggest takeaway from your relationship with Armando? What did he teach you? Well, I think, you know, the, one of the main things is he taught me how, actually how to be a gentleman about being a musician, not to turn your back on anybody, always be open to accept people's friendship. And one of the great things about him is that, you know, everyone who met Armando respected him. And, and that's what he said, he says, you have, you have to earn respect. And so he did and he taught me that. That was one of the main, main things that he taught me to do. What, what would you tell young people who want to follow in your footsteps, want to follow in Armando's footsteps? So many Toca, LP uh, fans are also musicians. Yeah. And you're their hero. What advice would you give a young musician today? Well, I think the main thing is that you've got to be really dedicated to what you want to do. Whatever that is, whatever instrument you want to play. I think the first thing, of course, is you've got to learn your craft. You know, learn it as best that you can. Try to get as much instruction as possible from people that have been there and that have done, you know, open those doors for everybody else. And that was my thing. That's how I learned. I, I watched the great players. I became friends with Tito, Patato, Mongo, Armando. All those guys were so nice to me. And me and my brothers, that's how we learned how to play. And that's that's what they need, the young people need to do. Learn from the old guys. You know, watch them, study what they do. And I think, you know, one of the other things is have that dedication, you know, to want to be a musician. You want to be a good musician, you got to put the time into it. That's what it takes. Well, Pete Escovedo, thank you so much for honoring our good friend and mentor, Armando Peraza, on behalf of Toca LP. Que viva Peraza! Viva Peraza, always.